Hey guys, so in this video, we'll see how to encode categorical data. Now, why we need this encoding here? See, not always you will find in a data set only numbers, okay? We, uh, like in this data set, most of the data are not numbers. They are categories, right? Like this place of birth, okay? So, uh, it, 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 has, it has different categories. It has Kuwait, it has India, it has uh, Iran, okay? And, and all the other data except these four are categories. So now why now what happens is in a machine learning model it deals with only mathematical equations right and equations it knows only numbers right so so we can't have any other objects there apart from numbers so for that we need to encode these uh, these these data into numbers right so for that I'll import the data into a python development environment right so here import pandas I'll make the font size a bit more. Yeah. Pandas as PD. Okay. Then my data set equals to PD dot read CSV. Make sure your CSV file is in the same folder as your uh, Python file. Okay. That you can check from the file explorer. Okay. Then in CSV, uh, yes, there's school data dot CSV. Right and x take a variable x my data set dot i lock rows to columns dot values right and then y okay why we need one more variable is okay let's first execute let's execute this yes it got executed i will check from the variable explorer the data set is red okay x yeah so it doesn't support objects apart from numbers okay so here it's showing object arrays are not currently supported so what we need to do is we need one more we need one more variable here y equals to uh, x dot uh, pd dot data frame then if we execute it right we have y right yeah now it's able to show now y is just a representation of x okay since uh, since the object arrays are not supported here we need a different we need to represent it through a different variable okay so for now we don't need y now what we'll do is from here we'll start to encode uh, let's say Okay, let me for now. Okay, so we want to encode this first column. Okay, uh, it's the second one, but then uh, yeah, uh, according to Python, it's it starts from zero, and then yeah, it's the first column. So we want to encode these categories into numbers okay so for that we need to import a package from sklearn dot preprocessing import maybe i'll make the font size show so that you can see the entire so that you can see the entire code Yes, label encoder, right? We'll do the execution. Yes, it's important. We'll create an object label encoder x equals to label encoder. Then we'll put it inside the column. We need all the rows. And we need only the first column, okay, which has the countries equals to label encoder x dot fit transform. And we'll put inside the arguments. We need 
x variable with all the rows and the first column right and yes so here the code for the encoding is done if you'll do the execution yes now we'll see the output through a different variable y equals to pd dot uh, data frame we'll put x inside it all right you can check from the variables here yes so the encoding is done you can see uh, the countries are now represented in the form of numbers maybe two represents yes two represents quick and uh, and zero and zero represents uh, India and one represents Iran okay so we have done the encoding now still we have a problem here now what happens the countries are encoded now but in machine learning model what might happen what might happen is that the model may consider that uh, since Kuwait is one and 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 India is zero Kuwait is greater than the India or uh, yeah, like it can make comparisons between the countries based on their number right and we don't want that right so for that we need a different kind of scheme here to encode this categories okay so that's where dummy encoding comes into the picture so dummy encoding is something like this which i'll explain in the next video